good afternoon. Uh, nice warm day in Georgia. Uh, Mid 80s, I think. 85, 86, something like that. But uh, uh, I've been a bit on the uh, lazy side, or I've been relaxing, or whatever. Um, so I've not been doing too much, or just maintenance stuff, you know, a little bit of mowing here and there, blowing leaves, or the flowers off the tulip poplars, and then the, the privets that I've been kind of cleaning up. Now, I know for a fact that these things did not bloom last year. Not quite sure why that was, or if it, you know, we did have a late uh, freeze last year, so, you know, that's what took out my uh, azaleas, so maybe these were, you know, pre-budding stage or something like that, I don't know. So, what I want to do out here today, so I've got a nice little bird center thing, you notice some of the feeders are empty, the top I usually throw some peanuts on for the blue jays, um, and then it's cute watching like some chickadees try to take off with a peanut. Um, but lately we have found that a squirrel leaps from, uh, let's see if I'm pointing right, right, there's a branch that hangs over right there, it'll jump from that onto the platform. So I want to eliminate that from happening, so I am going to remove that, um, that branch. And then, if I feel gutsy, um, there's two, um, I, I would kind of like to thin out of there as well because the roots are affecting, are going to affect that wall right there. So, if I want to do, if I want to prevent what's going on over there and off over there, I want to go ahead and take those out. Um, I did notice, so you see that I have a bluebird, um, house over there, um, there's been some activity over there finally. We've been here, um, end of September will be two years, and we finally, so this is the second season we've been here, finally got some activity over there. I hadn't seen one bluebird since we had been here. So, but then I also have, uh, you know, some dead looms I can go ahead and take care of. Um, I would, I'm not sure if I'll, I'm, Got the energy enough to do it today but i want to get rid of there's a, a two or three branches that hang over the roof and hang over the deck um i would like to try to get rid of those as well because birds will hang out right over there and that happens so if i can help that that'd, that'd be cool too not saying it's going to happen today, but, um, this morning I wasn't feeling too good, so I'm finally coming to life, but, uh, I'm at least going to take care of that, because I really don't want to feed the squirrels over here. I give them some in a feeder, uh, up front, so if they want to go over there and have at it, but not, not here where I want to feed the bird population, not the squirrels. So, all right, um, I'm going to get my toys together. It's a little warm out, so I won't have you on for the whole thing. Um, I don't want you to overheat. So we'll uh, come back in as, as I give updates. I did not realize how thirsty hydrangeas get. Um, the reason that they droop, yeah, they do get some afternoon sun over here, but I, I don't know a place around here that... I, mean, I guess I could have put them over there, but um, maybe if I get some more, I'll, I'll put them there. But um, if I if I go ahead and give it like a gallon of water a day, it's perfectly fine. So so the droopiness is not necessarily from the the heat and the sun; it's thirsty. So I planted some grass. Oh, about maybe four weeks ago, maybe maybe less. Whenever I did the. I planted some wildflowers too, so I'm kind of waiting those girls to come up. But I do have some grass growing, so a little bit at a time. And this is just a just a fescue. It's nothing fancy. I just want green and something to maybe help control some of the runoff we get. 
so well hey because that was that was all bare through there and then I only planted it the, the night I planted it, it we had a downpour so it all pooled right there but here I actually planted some wildflowers so we'll see if those come up and I plant I sprinkled them all through the woods so not seeing much signs of them yet and I don't know if those uh, rolled down somewhere else too so start off with the soil that's not I do want to take out the rest of that branch, but this should do it. One task at a time. I will use the uh, chainsaw for the rest of this one. I'm going to hold off on those. Wait until I have a reinforcement. Okay, so. Got those. And we'll see what Mr. Squirrel does from here. And then. I have tree off over here I want to trim. It's eventually going to go away.
why. So, next day, <laughs> you know the drill. Uh, actually, the battery did not die. It actually, uh, the camera shut off because it was too hot. So, even having it in a shade didn't, uh, didn't help that much at all. So, what I did get done yesterday, of course, I went above and beyond. Um, don't expect otherwise. Um, I did take care of the lo uh, low branch. Uh, actually took the whole thing. So right there. And it came up and over. And so I don't even know if I have a good picture of that because I did it from the other way. Also, I did do this yesterday. Or I mentioned it yesterday as well. I went and took some branches off that hung over onto the house. Um, this one here may still be a maybe for me to get rid of. Because that goes up and over. So we'll see. It may even be a possibility where I would get rid of this entire privet. Um, just with it hanging out. I mean, it's in with the other trees as well, so it's, it's all one big jumble. Um, I do also want to take out some more of the dead branches. So, did that. I also trimmed a couple other uh, branches that kind of hung over. And if I keep whittling away at this one, I'll eventually just be able to take the rest of it down. Because any, anywhere where there's a tree growing next to a tree, you want to get rid of it. So. And I say this every time, I still need to get over there and finish that off, too. But the one thing that's really cool with the uh, pole saw, you know, it takes a lot of uh, girl power, but um, it, it really takes care of things that I want. Um, I could probably also use it to pull pull down the uh, dead vine right there, and as well as right there, so I could clean those out. I took care of a couple um, or a few branches that hung really low. Um, so. And then, you know, some others that were kind of hanging over the driveway. But yeah, with that tree there, um, you know, it, it leans towards the deck, or uh, towards the deck. Um, birds do like hanging out on there and pooing on my deck. I actually had some chairs sitting out here last year, and I stopped doing that because of the bird poo on the chairs. But yeah, it it's way too privet heavy right here. You know, they're good if you want to if you're able to control them, and you know, keep their size at a minimum, keep them thinned out. Uh, some people will completely disagree with that, but if they're in the woods, I'm taking them. If they're in the way, I'm I'm taking them. So. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to really, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them right here. I want to cu probably cut that in half. I'll just need to pick out which ones I want to, I want to remove. So, so then the other view, oh my gosh, you should see the burn pile back here. So we'll... Well, really need to uh, do some burning. <laughs> no, it's not no, no. And so a lot of it still needs cut up, which is why I don't have it on the pile. I was actually going to keep the pile to a minimum to make it easier to uh, start, but. Uh, that part never goes to plan. I have to clean off roofs on the uh, tarps. There. So, oh, 
walked into it. Whatever. Okay, so tree update. So this is our Georgia, uh, Georgia bell, I believe. So we've got some budding right there. Yeah. Branch is nice and uh, green. So we're doing well. This is the Anna apple tree. And look at the buds on that. So that one's looking great. I will need to get something to prop it up there. So it's great. Same with this one. And this is the door set. Again, these are low chill trees. So looking great. This is our paw paw. Looks like we have little sprouts coming off on, on that as well. Blueberries are doing okay. I've actually, <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I took these out of the uh, nest boxes when I put new ones in. So. Looks good. Good mulching material. It's not too heavy. So, so it does still let some air into the soil. The uh, plum tree is right here. And I'll need to clip off that branch because it's not a good spot. But the rest is looking pretty good. So I really need to get moving on that uh, orchard area. The Meyer lemon. I'm really hoping for lemons this year. Not quite sure what's taking bites out of these. Deer possibly. The marigolds are doing okay in there. Begonia is doing good. I had a leaf on this one. I don't know where it went. Okay, there's growth right there. Right there. Okay. I just moved the... Uh, I must have moved the leaves around or they moved when I was... doing the... Um, I was doing some blowing up here. It's like an everyday task. 